Ladies and gents, welcome to some low ELO legends on Mega Random. These guys are kind of low, so it should be crazy because they are on two separate islands right across from one another. In the red, at uh, 190 ELO, we have Ronin6211667. Don't call that phone number. Kind of looks like a phone number. Um, Ronin hasn't built a house yet. And Ronin's going to realize here in a moment that because uh, they started with two scouts in this Mega Random Generation, that Ronin kind of needs a house. Over on this side, we have Maximus Decimus Meridius here, who uh, will hopefully be saying, are you not entertained at some point during this? Uh, I'm actually very excited for the new Gladiator movie. I know that it's like kind of, I think it's the meta right now is to is to come out with old classics and, and it probably is not going to be as good as, as the original one, but Gladiator is one of my favorite movies, so I'm excited to see some Gladiator action here. Um... All right, so plenty of stone and gold around the town centers for the players to use. Um, decent amount of food as well. Plenty of food. You got the geese, the pigs, and you got two boars. And you got two things of the um, of the berries. There is like this H-shaped or sunglasses-shaped uh, area of water that surrounds the players. And the only way to get to the outside would be to build a dock and to transport. Now, what's kind of funny is I've seen this mega random generation before. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but occasionally these little uh, peninsulas that jut out will connect with the crossing in the middle. So it's kind of interesting that there's always like the fake. I always know to check, will that be connected? But that is not. Uh, just passing there from the scouts. Chad is saying this is shaped like something else. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I can see what you guys mean. <laughs> I guess depending on, you know, uh, where, where you're at on that. We got uh, two scouts for both of them, and they should find out pretty quickly where the other's located. And I guess that could benefit the Magyar player, because, like, the Magyar player gets the extra attack uh, in, in Feudal Age and whatnot, but... Um, yeah, I, I don't think this is actually going to be that aggressive because these guys are below 300 elo. I think they're going to be relaxed. As relaxed as one can be. Absolute slaughter underneath Ronin's TC right now. We'll see if Ronin the underdog can get the job done here. I mean, being below 100 elo, someone sh definitely means that... I mean, there's a reason for that, but I, I also always feel as though... Maybe Ronan just played more games. And, you know, unfortunately lost some more games. I, I don't know exactly how many games Maximus has played. I do know Maximus is going to dock here. It's an interesting decision. Choosing to dock the backside. There is unfortunately very little fish here. Like, this is one of the worst maps for you to dock. I think the only deep fish I saw is here. Just a little bit of salmon there. Um... But I mean, maybe... Oh, God. Oh, the town bell has been rung. Because Red showed up with the scouts. Panic for Maximus. Maximus, please unring the bell. Okay, Maximus unrings the bell. And Red did take some damage there. But with two scouts, I mean, you could be running around killing villagers. So it is something players need to be worried about. I think that Maximus put his scouts on auto scout, or at least one of them, because the way they're moving around feels like auto scout. And oh goodness, the town bell was rung. Again! Was it rang or was it rung? What's the past tense of ringing a town bell? He rungeth? Rungeth the bell? I think he rang the bell. I think that's the way to say it. I don't think you've rung it. I think you've rang it. Wow, we have Ronan on the way up to the next stage already. 12 pop feudal age here. Wow, okay. He rang the bell. The bell was rung. Okay, cool. I think that sounds right. Let's see if this dock leads to anything. But, like, we'll also see if this fast feudal leads to anything here for Ronan. Um, Ronan's just going to be taking some berries. Ronan doesn't have a lumber camp yet. But... I feel like playing the Khmer is kind of, kind of nice because you don't need the required buildings and your farms are pretty efficient. Allows you kind of to 
gives you a position to skip some steps. And then if you're a player that doesn't have as much knowledge, it kind of, the game lets you advance through anyways, to various points. Okay, so there's three boars per player. We have not seen any taken yet. How many boars do you guys think are going to be eaten in this game? Again? I ask this now, because if blue is going to take boars, the time would be near. There's a mill over here, instead of on the berries. So maybe blue just wants to focus on farming and doesn't want any vegetable fruits or vegetables. Which is fair. Hmm... We got a lumber camp for the first time here from Ronan, who makes it to Feudal Age. Only 11 villagers right now. Uh, Yeah, I don't think Blue's going to take any boars. I think Blue might be a little panicked that the opponent's in the next stage, though. Blue could really bet. Oh, 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 Maximus. Maximus bringing in the boars. Man, I wish I had, like, more gladiator quotes stocked up. It's been a long time, actually, since I've seen Gladiator. Are you guys excited for the new Gladiator? I, I'm always curious on this. Because some people are like, nah, it's not going to, it's not going to be a proper, you know, it's going to be horrible. It's not going to be a proper ode to the original, you know. It's so sad they're going to ruin it, says Macho. Well, like. I thought the new Top Gun was insane, right? I think that sets the bar really, 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 really high for any type of, like, follow-up. And I don't think anyone should expect that. Um, I'm not expecting it to be, like, the same level of, like, epicness as the original, because I think when the original came out was also important, and there's some nostalgia. But I am going to tell you that, like, the Coliseum scenes are probably going to be badass. And even if the plot sucks for the movie, I'm excited for that. Like, at least from the trailer, some of the, like, teases there, I, I think that's enough for me. Um, but maybe I have very low standards, so. Hmm. Someone says, I think Hollywood is just lazy now in their writing. Hollywood's been lazy for a really long time. I think I think Hollywood's always been lazy, but it's just there have always been some exceptions, maybe. You know? The occasional hit out of the park, which, you know, we remember for a very long time, like Gladiator. Ooh, Blue made a fishing ship, made a transport ship. So it might choose to escape here. Blue also brings in boar number three. I'm really liking Maximus' position right now. Archer range seems to be the choice here for Ronan. No villagers on gold yet. No loom yet. And Ronan didn't take boars, but Ronan's been taking the berries. So, a little vegetarian option over here. Not bad. Wanting to avoid all that meat. Much faster fuel aids for red, but red like went up so quick. Red wasn't really able to afford to do much with it. So, you know. T90, is there a map making group for the community team maps? I'd be up for that. Yeah, we have a script chat in our Discord. So if you have like ideas or want to talk to people about maps, you that would be the place. Um, that's that's typically where people talk about mods and maps. So if you want like feedback on maps and whatnot, absolutely check it out. It's been chill, guys. It's been chill. Hey, this will get really interesting if Blue is able to to really like relocate a lot of villagers to the outside. There's actually not a lot of stuff out here, but I guess like, you know, free space away from where the enemy could attack you could be really nice. No loom for blue, by the way, but blue is Magyars. So uh, the one bonus that the Magyars have that we rarely talk about is that they one shot uh, wolves or in this case, leopards, so. T90, have you seen the Denzel Washington spoof for Gladiator someone has done? It's hilarious. Lasts about 30 seconds. Uh, no, I haven't seen it. I'm not going to play it on stream because I'm like super uptight about uh, like copyright crap. But uh, you can you can link it if you want. Mods can allow you to link it. 
I can look it up later. So, like, what I'm thinking is with this generation, right? Outside's not going to matter. Fight through the middle. Fight through the middle. Red agrees with that logic. But blue is trying to think long-term, spreading out. And this could work really well. The, the problem for you, blue, would be if the opponent attacks you and kills all these villagers here. But blue is really starting to relocate people here. <laughs> Cyber says, T90, is there a mod or a web page that will help you learn and practice hotkeys? Like software back in the day that helped you practice typing. I've never had anyone ask like that before. That's actually really interesting. It's funny because we talked about typing. We talked about a uh, typing class. Because I remember typing class growing up. Um, I I've never heard of anything, honestly. Um, I, I personally, like, would just suggest, like, you got to play the game anyways, right? I really would just suggest... And there's that one shot there on the on the jag is is just play the game in a way that interests you and try and avoid clicking things and it's just past a certain point your body just kind of your body just kind of gets used to it you know you just kind of get used to it these bills have been idle they finished the bore and they want a day off but this is a problem like this army from red could be really strong and now people are linking some stuff. Yeah, I have no clue what these people are linking, so. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so, Ariko, thank you for the resub. Resub message is Maximus Subscribus. Ooh, I like that. Do we have some Maximus Twitch Primus? <laughs> Guys, this game will be perfect as long as red doesn't attack blue right now, okay? Like, blue is going for the outer approach. We got the little wood colony over here. We got this lady over here. I don't know who placed that lumber camp, but someone's going to get there. She's moving. Fishing ships are also, like, kind of fishing long distance. These vills are on the move. We got a tower through the middle. This tower would be sick. If this tower goes up, Maybe red will see that and red won't advance past it. That's the logic here. That's the thinking from blue. And just because your villagers one-shot the animals, bomp, doesn't mean they automatically do it all the time. So blue with a good job there. And blue needs houses and blue is making the houses on the outside. This is good. This is really good. Oh man, who put the who put the snow leopards out here? There's not even any snow. It's just a leopard, bro. That's not actually how it works. Wow, look at look at the way they pounce with their paws. Oh. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I think all the snow leopards are gone now. And there goes red. Now red built up this whole army ready to attack, sees the tower and freaks out, guys. And we know red could advance and that blue would have problems. But that tower is enough to make red think, well, the enemy's ready for me. The enemy's defended. I guess we just got to give up. Whoa, look at all the meat. Wow, we missed this. Okay, so all the boars will have been taken. I think a villager died to one of these boars. Yeah, you could tell one of these boars got a kill. So we got that. Plus, we got some farms there from red. Not bad. Only one eco upgrade researched in this game, by the way. That was from Blue. That was Wheelbarrow. What is Blue's plan out here? Scout the map with villagers? <laughs> Dude, you gotta pick Koreans. Villagers have way more line of sight. I mean, I don't mind it, but I also would suggest maybe add a stable and just use scouts for this. Blue is really clicking around out there. The score intimidation technique. Well, I'd be intimidated if I were red. But, like, I think red's just going to make a massive army and attack this tower and take the tower out in Castle Age. Can you imagine if red takes this tower out and drops a castle forward? What will blue do? Blue is still trying to ferry villagers away from the island. What a great game, guys. This game is amazing. Also, it is, on a scale of 1 to 10... 9,675 annoying to move villagers in and out of transport ships. So the fact that we have a 270 ELO player doing this while simultaneously clicking villagers around 
uh, to scout the map. And, you know, everything else is really impressive. A lot of players play this game with fear, though, right? So I think, like, maybe Red's position will be more of a defensive castle. Red doesn't even know there's anything out there. Yo, Red has no clue that there is land out there. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't realize that. Look at how many vills are out here. You know what would be crazy is if Blue does lose this island and this game goes on. Because right now, Blue only has 14 villagers here, and Blue has about a 15 eco lead. So Blue, in theory, could afford to lose all this. Obviously, it doesn't work exactly like that. Farming eco out here from Blue. All right. Good stuff. That's going to be nice and safe. First farms we've seen from Blue. And man, villagers just continue to move around. Can I get the history of this villager? This villager's been moving 60% of his life. Man, what's the percentage on scouting right now for Blue? Let me check that real quick. I gotta go into Capture Age. Uh, 92%, wow. So 60% more scouting than the opponent, which is 600 more score. And that pretty much accounts for it. All right, Red, what's your plan? That, that tower was enough to scare Red away before. The army's not the strongest, honestly. Knights or elephants in there would, would just immediately make this army so much stronger. Um. Oh, man, I got a, I got a sub here. Okay, hold on a second. Donadin, thank you for the $5 dono. Uh, I meant to say dono. This is in the middle of the Romans Huns game. I saw on my TV screen that you covered my game while I played. I have never been that nervous. Glad I won with my Thief of Hope account. Well, I need to calm down. Thanks for casting. By the way, it was my bad try of a phosphorus strategy. Oh, wait a second. So you were playing a game and then you had the stream up on your TV. And then you just you noticed that I was casting you. <laughs> well... Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, man. Hold on. We got action. You're welcome, man. I mean, it was... It it, it was... It, it was great. It worked. We got knights and cav archers on the way. Classic AI army. Make one of everything. Um, Transport ship, though, from red. Oh, my God. Blue... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Blue has placed houses on the edge of both sides of the map. Now, I actually feel as though maybe one villager is building this, and I want to find... <laughs> I want to find this vill. It'd be so funny if this vill here <laughs> was tasked to build every single one of these houses. I will have to keep giving you updates. But I don't see any... Oh, okay. There's another villager over here. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's still crazy. I mean, I guess that's good for vision, you know? It's really hard for the enemy to ever find your houses. Guys, there's a chance that red will be in imp before blue is even in castle age. But blue is everywhere out here, which red will never find. Red just now has found that there is a shoreline on the other side there. The red has been very focused on the middle. This is a great game. If you are watching this right now, guys, this is this is a true Loey the Legend game. And, and listen, I get it. People like to expect certain things. Um, you know, Arabia and Arena, you get this meta. I get why people like to play that way, and, and I'm similar. But, like, this is a... There's exploration, there's difference in strategy, there's difference in strengths, clearly. Like, Red is a, a more aggressive player, or at least we think Red's going to be a more aggressive player. Blue is a more defensive, like, expansive type player. Blue needs to go up. Blue needs to make it to Castle Age, and needs to make it to Castle Age fast. And Red's transport ship just kind of moving around for now. But, yeah, I, I really do think... Yeah, Imp is in queue. Imp is actually in queue for Ronin right now. What in the world? 
Okay, so blue does not see the castle. Somehow, the fishing ship keeps going by here. It doesn't notice it. Yeah, it does not see the army, does not see the castle, but is making, oh boy, is making a bunch of, oh, look at blue. I love it. Archer skirm, archer skirm, archer skirm. Just one after the other. Is going to make more ranges here, too. Actually sends a scout into the transport ship as well. Meanwhile, the, the housing on the edge of the map continues. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the other villager over here died or something. I don't know exactly what happened, but... And Blue's going to drop more towers here on the front. <laughs> Red is going to be an imp before Blue is Castle Age. But, but... I think blue is can still win the game. Agree or disagree with me on that? I can I can see arguments uh for either side. But honestly, like there's so much eco out here. And red isn't out there yet. Red is that's going to be untouched eco. Now, red's eco here is also going to be untouched. And red could just push blue's base here. But I it's one of those rare instances where I actually think blue can live even if this island is lost. But the fact that all this is Feudal Age's army. Can, can we please get... Come on, can everyone just say Castle Age? Maximus, Decimus, Meridius. I have been very entertained. But please, go to Castle Age. You're doing a lot of stuff. I respect it. You've ran out of space for those scouts in there. That's cool. Don't forget about your TC. You gotta go up! Please! Go up to Weep or Castle Age! Stop building buildings over here! Please! Go up to Castle Age! Look at the outposts! Oh my god! Blue is gonna be so thorough with vision! Look at it! That's what Blue is doing! Outpost after outpost after outpost after outpost after house after house after house. <laughs> the opponent is in imp. I love how like red could just steamroll blue right now, but because the darkness is so terrifying, he just doesn't want to head over there and find out. Might be because of the score too. Also, like, who would you rather, who would you be more scared of? Maximus? Or Ronin. Kind of feel like there's arguments to be to be scared of both of these names. Kind of feel like everyone's scared of everyone down here at this elo. You know, you just always assume that everyone's way better than you. I kind of feel like Blue's master plan is to wait for Red to come over here with anything and then kill it. Which I think is a good plan as long as you go up to Castle Age. Please! You gotta use the TC. I'm worried the TC's gonna get trebbed. Lovely AI army from uh from Red though. Four knights, five crossbows, six light cav, three skirms, three cav archers. Little bit of everything. Does blue have a blacksmith? Um I don't think so. Oh, no, does have a blacksmith. And clicked up. Okay, that's big. That's big, 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 big. Resources selected. Red is ahead. Blue has... You can't make this crap up. Is blue patrolling scouts on both shorelines? This is legendary, dude. This is just legendary. This looks so cool. Yes, has patrolled an army... On both shorelines, waiting for the enemy. And and I guess maybe Blue then will focus the attention on preparing for whatever the enemy has towards the middle. That's the problem, though, is Blue is simply not ready there. Blue is going to get a couple upgrades. But this is just... This is a special Loe the Legend game, man. I've never seen a game quite like this. I've seen this map tons of times, but this is a beautiful game. Uh, by the way, Blue's going to have the resources to go Imp as well after making it to Castle Age. Wow. 
Okay, red has brought a monk in to heal things up. I think red is going to attack soon. Red did make a trip. I, I assume to go after the tower. Um, blue still has building foundations out here that aren't being built. Uh, maybe blue will eventually focus on that again. Blue probably pl it took blue like ten minutes to place all that crap. Red still hasn't used the transport. Red can actually see the scouts too. Oh, that's so that's so funny that Red can see that. Red also found the one single deep fish on the map and is going to eat the salmon. I mean, I would too, so. Okay, upgrades and castle age here for blue. Suddenly, you know, it feels more realistic that blue could maybe defend some of this army that could come in, right? Upgrades are in from the blacksmith and the free upgrades that came in and attack. Still lots of resources there. Red, on the other hand, still just not ready yet. Like, Red is still concerned about moving forward, but is always upgrading things. And always getting different types of units. That is our second kill of the game right there. Or actually, no, third. Second from players. Obviously, Boar's got a kill earlier. And that was just the fishing ship. And Blue immediately thought, okay, what can I do in this age... And is going through, like, each building and clicking upgrades. Like, Pikeman. Didn't click Light Cab yet from the stable and is going to drop a castle here. And is on the way to Imp. Now, this castle's great. It protects this area. It's way better than the towers. But, Red already has a trap. Well, if Red were to just move forward with that trap and notice this, things could change. Red also getting upgrades. Players do not want to fight until they are prepared for the battle. Guys, some of you guys watching, you're used to the back and forth fighting. Little bit of fighting, little bit of eco. Move. Little bit of fighting, little bit of eco. Move. These guys build up towards one master strategy and fight sometimes. Fire galley now from Red. Got a little annoyed at Blue's fishing ships there, I guess. And Treb will take out that tower. That now that's the only tower that Red knew about. The other towers have been around a while, but Red never scouted them, and they're just out of vision there. Now, again, there are like have on patrol on the shoreline. If Red ever needs to expand, ever tries to expand, Blue should see it. But still, the fight in the middle should be insane, as we have a cannon galleon. A cannon galleon from Ronin. That is an amazing option here. Maybe one of the best things that Red could do. Use a cannon galleon on the water, and Blue would need to make navy then. Blue hasn't made much navy at all. Whoa, what is this? Why does this monastery and castle look so cool? Is Blue going to try and get all the relics here? Can you walk on this? Does anyone know? I think you can. I want to see a monk try and walk on there without falling into the water. Uh-oh. The cannon galleon found the castle. Uh-oh. That's a problem, Blue. What are you going to do? I mean, I would suggest making docks and, and upgrading ships and going for navy. At this rank, I don't even think they know that the War Galley affects other ships, which I've made videos on, and I've suggested a dock rework many times. I don't know if it will ever happen, but yeah, it's really confusing for noobs. We'll probably never see the upgrade. Oh! <gasps> no way! It's as if it was made for it! No way! Are you kidding me? What was that? This little line of land just happened to lead right up to the cannon galleon scripted are you not entertained that's crazy man if i were red right now i'd be pissed because <laughs> red might think you know foolishly of course but red might be like well i guess cannon galleons are bad all right like what in the world 
That was amazing. All right, all right. We got um, the Treb that was advanced forward to hit the castle now that he knows it's there. Both players are in the Imperial Age. Now, my guess is Maximus is going to make Cav to snipe this Treb because Maximus does not see the massive army that is out there for the enemy. Red is going to make another Cannon Galleon too. Oh, wow. And guys, we missed this. This like have killed four vills. So Red did actually try and come out here and the like have spotted it. So the plan is paying off from blue. Red knows about the university. Red doesn't seem to know about the importance of the blacksmith. I, I, the blacksmith is here. But remember, new players, different games work in different ways. He's very educated. He's just not very smithed. Uh, no blacksmith upgrades is going to hurt big time. Blacksmith is really important for all the standard military units. And blue is preparing some level of defense here. Red might be feeling a little bit helpless be if red noticed that this, you know, didn't work out. And there's another cannon galley and avoid the little narrow strip of land there, red. And blue's lost the, the front line. Lost the front towers. Lost the front castle, and it might come down to this. Because long term, guys, like, Blue is snagging those relics slowly. Like, there's another monk on the way back. This is Blue's master plan. Look at all these monks moving. Blue is, an, is a freaking mastermind. This is insane. Expanding to the outside with town centers. Getting the relics. But, like, Blue... If Blue loses the middle, this gets extremely problematic. Someone says, I don't think matter relics matter in this elo. They absolutely do. People are not great economically. At like, you know, in a pro game, right? You have like, let's say 130 vills. You bring in a lot of resources that way. These guys normally stop around 50. Four or five relics? Really add up. There is, I think there's the mental side of it too. Though I don't know if Red even knows about relics at this point. And yeah, cannon galleons from Red. See, the, the Cannon Galleons make this interesting because I don't think Blue has a proper counter to Cannon Galleons. The only proper counter would maybe be, like, uh, your own ships. But again, I don't think Blue knows about the dock. This could get very stalemate actually. Where, like, Blue will have the outside, but Red will have full control of the middle. Look at Blue continue to try and use the ship, uh, the, the Hussars against the ships. But red, micros, micros, micros. Uh, loses one, but protects the others. And now the Trebs are going for the TC. What a game. It is 55 eco for both. It is 60 army for both. Blue has had enough. Blue is here. And he, Blue would need to take out these Trebs. And then worry about the cannon galleons later. The Hussars hop out of the stables to come help. That's a lot of halves with good upgrades. Kind of awkward for Blue to engage right now. And Blue's units aren't actually engaging. Now they are. I think this should be a good fight for Blue. Blue's got better upgrades and a big variety of army. And will take the traps. But has lost the TC. There's still cannon galleons around. And he's not out of the woods yet. All red is going to make is cannon galleons. Blue. You got to move these relics, buddy. You got to move these relics. This is the greatest flaw right now. You like, you cram the houses up against the edge of the map. Why? I don't know. Maybe it looks cool. But if relics is part of your strategy here, you need to get those relics far away from the shoreline. Now, look at that. War of Fire Galley's coming in, sniping. Nice job. Looks a little funny, you know, to see a few laid ships up against a big imp ship like Cannon Galleons, but... Again, I just don't think people know how the dock works. Uh, blue, a little distracted. We'll probably lose the ships there as red will make more. So, blue can't really damage red's eco. Red is going to run out of wood. The best place for red to take wood will soon be on blue starting island. This is crazy, man. I really hope this is making you guys as happy as it is me. You know, I, I could just be background noise right now, and 
I just happen to be slightly more entertaining than the thing that you were doing before this, you know, which might not be much, but like, this is Age of Empires, people. This is a, this is mega random. This is, this is amazing. Cannon galleons coming over here. Have to be careful of that terrain. Red's clearly aware that he needs to be careful with the ships. Doesn't seem to know how to use stand grounds, which makes sense because, like, formations and whatnot are tough for these guys, but... Man, I, I would suggest for Blue to add more docks to make the Navy. Like, that's really going to be the key here. Red can range a lot with these cannon galleons. But no real attempt again from Red to try and... Uh, no, no real attempt to try and take wood on the outside or build TCs out there yet. I quit playing game to fully focus. I love that. Okay, so we got some rams. Magyars don't get siege ram. So that won't be an option. Four relics for blue. I think it's going to be five. There should be a monk walking with a relic somewhere. I just don't know where. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. There's five monks here. I thought there was five relics on the map. Maybe there's not. Red? Even though red's running out of wood, there's still 2,000 wood here. And all oh, red's going to go for it again. Now, remember, there were outposts before. A lot of those outposts have been shot down. Red lost villagers here last time. I wonder if Red will try and go this way. Oh man, the rams. That's not going to do it. That That's not it. Yeah, those rams will go down very quickly. So blue, even with army support, probably would have struggled there. Man, these cannon galleons are so strong and so terrifying. <laughs> Bramwell, welcome back. <laughs> The amount of people resubbing and giving me reminders for merch stuff. Thank you for the three years, man. Salutes and chat, please, for Bramwell. It's a long time. Let's see. Will Red try and move these vills? Probably just focused on the front. And maybe positioning the cannon galleons. I mean, this is satisfying. To have this many cannon galleons around probably feels so good. But wait. But wait. But wait, you've gone too far. Maximus Decimus Meridius is here to eliminate us. And the Canagallians get caught out by the fires. That's going to be a clear up. But there's a big fight here. Red was focused on this. And it's going to work out for Maximus because Maximus will actually defend this area and also clear out all those Canagallians on the other side. It's a full clear. Tough time to be a villager, of course. There's not a lot of stuff remaining here. But that's still enough defense to be happy with. And I think Red's going to look back for those things, not realizing they're gone, and be like, wait, what? What happened to him? And that's going to be a devastating realization. Okay, so now Red is going to look to try and take the wood on the outside. Shows up with the transport. Oh, you can't make it up, dude! You can't make it up! Perfect strategy! Yeah, can't swim. Forgot to go to swimming lessons, huh, villagers? Transport gets sniped. Villagers die. That was Red's comeback right there. Like, Red's way back into this game was to get to the outside, which he's tried countless times now, and it's simply not working. That's why Blue patrolled these, what used to be scouts in Feudal Age on both sides of the map. Does Red have it in him? To try it again. Like, can Red go again? Get a TC up. Or can Red advance forward and push Blue? I mean, Blue's built a castle here. Blue's actually making trebs. Blue's gonna drip, make uh, more siege workshops and more stables here because... Uh, you know, the other ones were killed off. What a sick game, man. I think my opinion on Red's situation would be way different if red um knew about the blacksmith right like red could spend these resources on upgrades and be in much better positions in the fights the blacksmith upgrades are just simply a big difference maker here the positive is you don't really need blacksmith upgrades for the navy they're making so there is that 
I think like what red is missing right now is using the navy to protect the villagers when they get brought over here. Because red probably like think about all the things you do in a game. You probably click the villagers there and then you look away and then you look back and they're just dead. Like I think the third time around red needs to make sure that there's some navy there to protect the vills. down to the last tree it is a wood famine here in red's eco oh man this is the last tree on the island soon no more wood for ships for transports for anything and blue in the middle has a big old army here to protect red does have a transport on the way somewhere but blue's got trebs now, let's see if that's going to be enough because the cannon galleons from Red are here. Red's not finished. Red will take out the traps. Well played from Red. But Blue still has some skirm, still has some navy. The treb goes down. But the cannon galleons will go down too. And okay, this is going to be the last chance for escape from Red. Can fit 20 villagers in this transport. There's actually 20 here. And Red doesn't have it in him. And probably feels like after that loss, that's going to be the end. And it probably will be, right? It probably will be. I think this castle will get trapped down. Blue's army will then advance forward. Blue will just kill everything that's here. Red does not have the time to get the setup on the outside. What a crazy game. Like, these two encountered this map and looked at it completely differently. I would have played it like Red. Made army and pushed the middle. And kind of figured that the outside wouldn't make a difference. But for blue, the expanding, the relics out here, the vision out here, and kind of playing that long game of trying to stop the opponent from ever expanding out to these resources worked out really, really well. What a fun game, man. Um, I want to go back to the uptimes. We had a 24-minute castle age for red and a 42-minute castle age for blue. Blue spent so much time focusing on the outside. So much. Now, some people are saying upgrades. Ronan should have had upgrades. Ronan would have been fine. Honestly, I don't even think upgrades. I think Ronan, with the Castle Age army, could have attacked and done way more. But what happened for Ronan, and like we understand it, right? We understand it because we're casting Loyola Legends, but it needs to be explained anyways. Like... Ronan saw a single tower and got so scared, Ronan never pushed, right? And, like, in this instance, if Ronan just runs around that, Blue panics and Blue can't focus on, you know, House City, Outpost City, and everything else. The tower was a good tower because that is, you know, something that attacks and can scare someone off. Not saying it was a bad move. But I think when you have a Castle Age army, I think one tower shouldn't scare you off as much and that would be the main tip i would give red beyond blacksmith upgrades i think blue even though blue won the game and we could like applaud him for his master strategy he he did get a little too uh a little too stuck in the in those ways with the strategy there for a minute and did forget about castle age for a very very long time yeah actually um that's true we had feudal age for Maximus, while Ronan was an imp there for a while there, too. And 99% of the map was explored. My goodness. I like to think that when um, Blue's APM skyrocketed, that this was when Blue was clicking the villagers around to scout, or, like, the scouts around to to try and stop things from, from expanding into his territories. What a fun game. That was so cool, man. That was beautiful. Honestly... I still think one of the craziest moments of this game for me, especially like considering everything that I said and I mentioned these little strips of land like in the Dark Age and how sometimes they actually connect and sometimes they don't, is so wild to me. I don't know what point of the game it was. Where Red makes his first cannon galleon, ends up sitting here, and Blue has an opportunity to somehow run in there and kill that thing. I, I am annoyed for Red. I feel really bad for Red. This is a big moment. Red could have run in and attacked. Maybe Blue wasn't ready. But this... <laughs> <laughs>
Cannon dying to light cap. It's just one of those things you're just not going to see all the time, right? I don't think we're ever going to see a moment like that again because it's just too specific. And that's what that's what's great about Age of Empires, man. It's just like there's all these crazy little things that can happen even though the game has been out for 20 plus years. It has to do with the maps, it has to do with the gameplay potential, all the control the players can have. Um, yeah, GG. 